Hi guys, welcome back to my art life and as you all know, nag art adventure tayo the last time sa M. Enriquez Art Supply. Kung saan, marami akong pinakita sa inyo na art materials na meron sa store nila. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood ang art adventure session natin sa M. Enriquez Art Supply, you can use yung link sa my description box or wait at the end of the video and magdalagay ako ng thumbnail link doon. Today, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga nabili kong items mostly galing to dun sa warehouse sale nila na may 20% and 50% off. Alright, let's get started and simulan natin sa pan na ito. This is a refill pan para sa Prang watercolor set at kaya binili ko ito dahil ito ay ang special color na magenta. Hindi ito kasama sa regular set ng prank at nabibili lang ito separately. Next are these bundle of brushes. If you have been watching my videos, you will notice na I usually use a water brush pero these brushes are for a special use. And makikita nyo to very soon na ginagamit ko. Nakabili rin ako nitong small Chinese brush with real bamboo handle. Maganda rin tong gamitin for detailing lalo na dahil yung bristles nito are made of firm, flexible hog hair. At since firm and flexible ang tip nito, perfect din to for use with calligraphy. Next are these Berkeley brushes with fine tip. Mas maliit ang tip nito kaysa dun sa Chinese brushes na pinakita ko kanina. This has synthetic bristles which is firm and flexible. At the same time, since synthetic ang bristles niya, mas affordable ang price nito. This will be perfect for fine detailing and fine lines. Ito namang brushes na to, well, I'm not sure what they're called pero nakita ko lang to sa Instagram and ginagamit nila to for calligraphy. Matagal ko na tong gustong masubukan so nung nakita ko siya sa store, pinili ko na kaagad. Next naman ay ang Sakura Jelly Roll pen na ito. Ito ay Sakura Jelly Roll Glaze pero don't get it confused with the white glaze dahil ang isang ito ay transparent glaze. Isa rin itong hard to find na jelly roll and halos dalawang taon na ako nag-iikot at naghahanap ng pen na to pero ang lagi lang meron ay Sakura Jelly Roll White Glaze. Sinubukan ko na nga pala siya beforehand and yung word na star and start yung nilagyan ko ng glaze. Makikita nyo na mas naging deeper yung green color at kapag tinamaan siya ng ilaw, para siyang nakalaminate which is good when you want your work to really stand out. Sunod naman ay ang set ng Prang colored pencils and honestly guys, I did not know na Prang has colored pencils. It's a good thing na kasama ang item na ito sa sale so sinama ko na rin siya sa mga binili ko. I mean, how often do you see a Prang colored pencils at nakasale pa? Tara, try natin ng mabilisan lang. Na-excite lang ako how it feels like to use these pencils. Let's try mixing or blending colors. So I'll use a red and a yellow and let's see. So far, I think I like these pencils. Ang overall feel when you're using it is para siyang chalk pastels. It's dry and soft but not scratchy. The colors aren't as vibrant as I expect pero minsan kapag unang gamit pa lang sa colored pencils ay ganun talaga pero through time, the colors get deeper. Well, we will know more on the review so stay tuned. Next naman ay itong Sakura Jelly Rolls na nakabundle. And I got lucky with this one dahil nakasale ang mga Jelly Rolls na to for only 10 pesos each. So, Eto, pakita ko sa inyo yung mga nabili kong pens. Yung 
yung jelly roll na Tiara and Aqualip are first time ko lang nakita so I'm very excited to try them out. Hindi naman masyadong marami yung nabili ko so this is more like a mini haul. Pero these are items na matagal ko nang hinahanap and finally nakita ko rin sila. At sa M. Enriquez lang pala ako makakahanap ng mga ito. Next naman are the Sakura Pigma Calligraphy. Alam ko, brush pens are very much popular in terms of lettering and calligraphy pero itong Sakura Pigma Calligraphy are a little different. This set come in four colors, black, red, blue, and green, and three sizes which are C1, C2, and C3. Ipapakita ko sa inyo how the tip looks like dahil kakaiba ang pens na to. Alam ko yung ibang flat edge pens have felt tips pero itong Sakura Pigma Calligraphy is parang gawa sa hard plastic yung tips. Iba siya sa nakasanayan dahil it feels more like a real nib or dip pen. Ito, ipapakita ko sa inyo how it works. So far, it is smooth naman on paper dahil matigas at parang hard plastic yung flat tip nito. It also writes well and wala namang naging problema with plotting. Pero I feel na this is something that you will need to practice with para masanay ka sa feel ng tip niya. And for our last item for the day, ay ang mga Sakura poster color in tubes. I guess ang poster color sets na to are from their overstock items or old items, judging from the condition of the box. Pero yung paint tubes naman are all in perfect condition. And like what it says on the packaging, these are 12 colors and 14 tubes. Ito ay dahil tatlo yung white tubes. Importante kasi sa poster color ang white so that makakapag-mix kayo ng iba pang colors and shades. And honestly guys, this is another first for me dahil ngayon lang ako nakakita ng mga Sakura poster colors in tubes. Usually kasi, and ever since, nakikita ko yung poster colors in jars and never in tubes. As you can see here, sobrang konti lang nang nilagay kong paint pero grabe sa color payoff. Kahit sabihin natin na old stock nga siya pero the colors are still vibrant and it is so satisfying to use dahil the paint glides through the paper just like butter. I can't wait to swatch all of the colors for you. Alright, so that's it for today's video and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget nga pala to subscribe kung hindi pa and pakilike na rin ang video na to to help keep my art life active. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now and take care.